right, we're testing out the GoPro. Yeah, straighten it. I <laughs> there you go. <laughs> showing. Oh. oh my god. Well, we are trying to make a new season of water farming together, but we'll see how it goes. All right, it's kind of hard to hold it not straight. Hold it straight. There it is. That's better. It's been a good, it's been a good season of, of training for me as well. Um, something we were just talking about was, it's nice that we've both been healthy for a while. No crashes, no COVID. My body's been holding up pretty well, which is awesome and let me get a good block of training in. Um, I got invited to my first national team camp in March. That was dope. And uh, I'm excited to kind of get into the bulk of my race season coming up here. It was right here. Does that part feel weird? No, it feels fine. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Skylar fixed my rib shorts. So she's very nice. She's a seamstress. If anybody wants any repairs that will look terrible but function, hit me up. I am getting ready to leave for T-Town tomorrow. I love getting to go to T-Town. It is so fun to get to connect with my friends there, um, get to hit, hang out with my host family, ride the track, do some racing. Um, but it's also really hard for me to be away from home. Um, I have a great home and I live with the love of my life and it's really hard to be away for that long. Um, but, you know, it's... Uh... Uh, what are we doing? You're showing me how to pin up numbers. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, so will you pretty much have that? You're putting it on? No, I put no, it on my legs. Oh, so that's stretching. Stretching. <laughs> stretching. I pin the middle to each other. Yeah, but you you can just use the one pin. And go through mm -hmm. number so, kit. Number, number, number kit. Kit, number, number. <laughs> yeah. Number kit. Number, number, kit. number kit. Kit, number, number. Right? <laughs> yeah. Number, number kit. Then you're below, then you come back up. So kit number number. I think it's only kit. So number number, number kit, kit number number. Oh, okay, okay, like I see. <laughs> yeah, you put your legs in the legs. <laughs> you won't get it by the time you leave. Okay, I left yeah. all of my. <laughs> <laughs> Hold all your pins now. I have to... All right, we're getting ready here for our first round of UCI racing tomorrow. Very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else there is to say. I do. So today I'm making a Vermont whole wheat oatmeal honey bread. Thought it felt like kind of a warm bread. It's a little bit of a cloudy, rainy day. So it's a nice just little relaxer to sit here and need some bread after a hard day of racing. Kind of when you're on the track, kind of stacked up, like the track is banked and people like kind of stacking up this way. Um, and someone came down onto the woman next to me who start, start, kind of started crashing. And then um, she came down to me. Um, and so I got kind of taken out underneath and um, hit my head and my elbow pretty hard. Um, I cracked my helmet and also like kind of popped my elbow out 
like this had a really big bruise on the elbow. Yeah, I think just like the suddenness of it and the big like head hit. Um, yeah, were really scary. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I am just looking now at how disgusting that is. I'm not a nice bridge. Mm -mm. I don't like that. So I've been here for about two and a half weeks um, and I haven't filmed very much because I have been having a really tough time. Transition's been super hard this year. Um, I felt really homesick. Um, I felt really tired. Um, I have felt like super just like sad. And um, I think more than anything, like I've had setbacks for sure before. Um, right, I've gone through a lot of injuries, um, have like a lot of like chronic pain stuff that's been really hard to deal with. Um, but I've always kind of wanted to keep going and like keep like, I've always had a lot of drive to like return to training um and this like past week for me was really the first time I was like I want to go home like I don't want to do this anymore like this is not like I, I don't like this at all like it the feeling of it was like so dark that it, it just like felt like you know, why am I doing this? Like, why am I here? Like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this. And, um, when I'm kind of spiraling and having a lot of negative thoughts, right? Like, um, those thoughts, like I am not worthy of these opportunities. Like I'm not worthy of the sacrifices that people are making for me. Um, if you think those thoughts enough, those can become like your reality versus just like words that you're thinking. What I have written on this page here, right? Are some of like my negative thoughts around like around training right like I won't go any faster my body won't allow me to reach my goals um I have only one chance or one time to achieve my goals I'll never be as fast as other girls uh, I won't have a life after sport like sport will take away my life um having a lot of those like negative thoughts just like writing them out on paper right helps you that like you know if you think about like I won't get any faster right like looking at that and like having it out on the page means that like I can kind of like think to myself like does that like actually logically make sense and kind of like having some distance from your thoughts and having some like defusion from your thoughts can actually help you like remember that those aren't reality these videos are just going to turn into boring vlogs like sean johnson's where he just talks at the camera I haven't been very good about getting any footage at racing. I only remember to film when I'm sitting here by myself. In my room by myself. Nico and I are talking about making these videos. And I was saying, I don't want to put out just a whole summer full of videos of me being depressed. And he was like, yeah, well, that's what this summer is like. It's really hard. So, sorry everyone, but it's not hot girl summer anymore. It's depressed girl summer. Working on some hippos tonight. So this is a coloring book that along with these markers was a gift from my Strong Girl Spam mentee, Cadence. And she wanted us to work on these together this summer. So she has picks, picks one and then we, we do it together and we send each other photos of it. This one I wanted to just kind of do all the colors. That was a fun one to do that for. Um, I kind of wanted to pick one color theme, so went for like reds and oranges in this one. I really like how my rhinos turned out. I love this like um, kind of edge of, of the fluorescent orange. It was Pride Month and I was 
um, kind of loving the little lines of the lions and wanted to do some rainbow action. And this is fun because I've started to do a little bit of texture. So this one's the current one that we're working on right now. And it's fun. Nico asked me to talk a little bit about the crashes. So I did four weeks of UCI racing. The last two weekends were both Omniums. Um, and those are the weekends that I they crashed in. Um, the second crash happened the following week was during the elimination. And I was overlapping wheels with someone else who was right in front of me. And when I got bumped, I hit her wheel and couldn't keep my bike upright. In that crash, I, I just, I felt like also a lot of shock, but like a lot of anger um, and kind of, I couldn't believe this was happening to me again. I was feeling very emotionally fried, just like the emotional kind of build of, you know, both weeks in a row, I hit my head again. Um, and, you know, some other things that I, I'm just kind of dealing and going through, like that just was like, I, I can't, could not emotionally handle, I couldn't really handle that crash. And so I just like <laughs> screamed and was kind of like, what the fuck? Like, why is this happening to me? Like, I can't believe this. And um, ran away from the medical staff over the barrier and into the infield to go sit in a bush. All right, Sky, we're here. We're right here. They won of nationals. What happened so far? Um, I qualified third in the individual pursuit this morning. Um, and so that means I get to ride in the bronze medal final tonight. Baby, what's going on? Well, here we go. Day three of Truck Nationals, and Skyler is gonna raise the Omnium. Um, day one was individual pursuit, Skyler got third, and last night was a standalone scratch race, which Skyler also got third. Amazing race. What's going on today? The Omnium. It's supposed to race rain tonight so they squeezed all the races into one session so we're gonna be here all day we got we got snacks now the water a little shade friends what more do we need for a saturday in the summer really is it friday is it thursday it's friday it's friday <laughs> Oh shit. These last few months cracked me. Leading up to nationals, I spent all summer away from home racing and training. Injuries, being homesick, lots of crying FaceTimes, failed workouts, crippling anxiety, rock bottom, I want to quit kind of bottom. This past week was the biggest sigh of relief, all our sacrifices somehow feeling worth it. Nico's favorite moment was finding me crying my little eyes out after getting third in the scratch race. Total disbelief. It's hard to describe. Almost like being lost in a dark forest for weeks and finally being rescued. Relief. Like, oh my god, how? Deep stomach crying. I guess we do this for moments like these. <laughs> 